But like I said, if you want more exclusive content, more exclusive conversation, you can just join my Facebook Truth Group Messenger Chat Group. You can do that by sending me a friend request on my Facebook page, PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook. That's PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook, and I will add you to the group. Go ahead, Brother Israel. This is from... MediaTakeOnNews.com Virginia woman murders cheating boyfriend on Instagram. You know, and, and and I seen this yesterday. I seen this as it was happening when it was re being recorded. I seen this shit. I didn't think it was going to make the news. I wasn't planning on doing a report on it because, you know, I do celebrity reports. Well, this woman became a celebrity when she knocked and ran into her husband, well, her boyfriend, and flipped her, her boyfriend 50 feet in the motherfucking air. Now, what, what puzzled me about this, I heard the woman, which was a fine-ass woman at the, at the time, I heard the woman said, I gave you 18 years of my life. That's where you women go wrong at. You with these men for motherfucking them 18 and 20 damn years and motherfucking them, that man ain't gave you a fucking ring? That man ain't attempted to motherfucking them marry your ass? You the fool. Anyway, go ahead, Brother Israel. A Virginia woman appears to have murdered her cheating boyfriend by running him over with a cart car. And a gruesome murder was captured and live streamed on Instagram. I made a take on news has confirmed. That shit was funny as hell because damn, the man was sitting there laying there and everybody assumed that nigga was dead. You can hear it in the video. Everybody saying, oh, he's dead. He's dead. He was laying on the ground for at least a good 30 motherfucking minutes. And then... Motherfucker, them two people comes out of the woodwork and wraps and put a motherfucking sheet over the nigga. Like, pronouncing the nigga dead. Like, them motherfuckers are paramedics. The paramedics was not even on the scene. I said, ain't this some shit. Ain't nobody calling the motherfucking police. But the nigga was still alive. Go ahead, brother Israel. Norfolk police are investigating a domestic assault that left a man severely injured Thursday afternoon. Why did media takeout say the motherfucker was murdered? What? Why did media takeout headline says a woman murders her boyfriend on Instagram? I have no idea. Because the man, you know what I'm saying, when I was watching it, after the paramedics came there, the man was alive. Yeah, they even still saying that um, the, uh, it left him severely injured. That's it. Oh, media takeout, you done fucked up. You, you know what I'm saying? You see the propaganda media. Oh, mi woman murders man on Instagram. Oh, I see why they did it. Because look, it says, um, um, but this morning, that soul case appears to have turned into a homicide because social media reports claim that the man died last night. So you guys are going to listen to social media. So far, police are being tight-lipped about the investigation. They have not yet, they have not responded to media takeout news request for comment. Yo, you should have seen this shit. The, after the woman motherfucking damn, you know what I'm saying, ran the nigga over. The, the woman hit the motherfucking threw a bumper at the nigga, you know what I'm saying, and still talking shit, you motherfucker, da 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 da, and everybody else is motherfucking them, oh, why are you doing that, listen, I feel the woman, 
know what I'm saying? And if you niggas, you know what I'm saying, don't want to be with a woman, tell the fucking woman that you don't want to be with her. Don't motherfucking them lead the woman on. Make the woman think that you love her and want to be with her and shit like that. And then motherfucking them, the woman have to catch you with your dick in somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Then that's a fucking problem. Because you wouldn't want the shit if the table was on the other end. If the woman was fucking around with another nigga, the nigga would be upset about that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying the, the woman is, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, what she did was justified. No, I wouldn't uh, um, encourage the, any woman to do that shit. But motherfucking them, don't cheat. Don't cheat. If you find yourself can't stay faithful, don't commit to a woman. Bottom line. Let me tell you something. I'm put it like this. Me, myself. I'm not commit to no motherfucking woman. Because I, the ministry that I'm in, I can't have no fucking woman holding me down. My, my mind got to be focused on this truth and getting this truth out and pursuing this ministry. That's what my whole mind is focused on. If I motherfucking attach myself to a raggedy ass bitch... Then motherfucker them, the ministry only gets half of my time. So, I got to do it like this. If you are willing, I'm not going to get into that, but go ahead, Brother Israel. Uh, but witnesses who can be seen in the video describe what they saw. In the video, the witness can be heard saying that a woman ran the man down with a car. You can hear at least one person in the video saying that he still was breathing while he was on the ground. The woman in the video can be heard scolding the critically injured man for cheating on her. The police department tweeted that officers took a woman into custody at the scene. Hell yeah. At least at least she was woman enough to stay there. At least she was woman enough to, you know what I'm saying, own up to her, you know what I'm saying, on what she did. You know what I'm saying? I, I give her I give her props. I give that woman props for owning up to what she did and staying there at the scene. You know what I'm saying? Because you have some cowards or do a or do a act, commit a crime, and everybody will see that that person committed the crime. That person will deny it. Oh, I didn't do it. So I got to I got to give it to the woman for you know what I'm saying for for owning up. You know what I'm saying? But let this be a lesson to you, dumbass, retarded niggas. Stop playing with women's hearts. You know what I'm saying? Stop, stop playing with that shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that shit ain't motherfucking funny. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find yourself with motherfucking them hot grits on you. Ask R. Kelly. R. Kelly motherfucker said he woke up and all. You know what I'm saying? That woman poured hot grits on his ass. Yeah, I know it was, I know it was a part of his song. I don't know if it happened in real life. I know it was part of a song, but you know what I'm saying? You get my you get my point. You know what I'm saying? You got to stop, you niggas gotta stop playing with motherfuckers like that. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't trying to be fucking faithful, don't commit. If you ain't trying to be faithful, you know what I'm saying? Don't play with a woman's fucking mind. You know what I'm saying? Because the outcome can be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? You play with the wrong woman's mind, you might get yourself motherfucking them like Lorena Bobbitt. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember her. She, she cut her man's dick off and threw that motherfucker out the window as she was driving down the highway. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas better motherfucking damn, you know what I'm saying? Act like y'all motherfucking know. If you, don't, if you can't be faithful to a woman, then motherfucker them get with a nigga. That's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, I, I, me, I, I, I don't do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I let a motherfucking bitch know right off the rip. Hey, listen. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time. I don't have time for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't have hour. I don't have two hours. You know what I'm saying? I don't want conversation. You know what I'm saying? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's it. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't got that. I ain't, I ain't got that. I ain't got time like that. You know what I'm saying? Not with this ministry. You may think I'm just doing videos, and you know what I'm saying. You may think, oh, you just doing videos. You should have plenty of time. No, it's more to that shit. You understand? I ain't got time like that. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'll be damned if I let somebody get me off track of my damn ministry. Fuck that shit. But you know what I'm saying? That's just me. I'm talking about you. Men out there, you know what I'm saying? Stop playing with women's hearts like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find yourself motherfucking them in a ditch somewhere. Anyway, this is news. Like I said, if you want to check out my exclusive, check out more exclusive content and more um exclusive content and, you know what I'm saying, exclusive conversations and, you know what I'm saying, more secrets and fucking them truth talk, well, send a friend request. I'll add you to the group. Send a friend request to my Facebook page, PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I will add you to the group. Thanks for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamig Israel. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you. Yeah. Uh-huh.